Welcome back to day 11 of Random Math Stuff. Okay, before we start the video, we use circles for Venn diagrams because they're easy to draw. So in that sense, they're a good choice for Venn diagrams. But that doesn't discount from the fact that pretty much any other shape will be able to create more complex Venn diagrams than circles, which I think is hilarious. Okay, let's just start the video. What exactly is a Venn diagram? This is a Venn diagram, this is a Venn diagram, but this is not a Venn diagram. The reason is, if someone likes apples and carrots, but not bananas or donuts, there's no place anywhere here to put them in. There is no point anywhere on this diagram that is inside the apple circle, inside the carrot circle, but not inside the banana or donut circles. Venn diagrams must include a region for every possible combination of food preferences, all 16 of them, but this diagram only has 14 regions. In fact, the maximum number of regions you can get with four circles is 14, so two groups of people will always be left out. I'll provide a proof of this later, but first let me show you a valid four-way Venn diagram. Here are two examples, and notice they both use shapes that aren't circles. So why does this work, but this doesn't? Because, no matter what combination of these you are, there's a spot on this diagram for you. If you like apples, bananas, and carrots, but not donuts, this region describes you. And there's a region for every other combination as well. Okay, so why can't you do this with circles? What's stopping you? We already have a three-way Venn diagram here with circles. Eight regions, eight combinations, one region for each combination, everything's fine. What's stopping you from just adding another circle? Focus on one of these eight regions, we'll pick the one in the middle. This one happens to represent people who like all three foods, apples, bananas, and carrots. Now, some of these people like donuts, and some don't. It doesn't really matter right now because this is only a three-way Venn diagram, but when we add our fourth circle in, we need to make sure both groups are represented and have their own separate region, one donut lovers and the other donut haters. This means our fourth circle needs to split this region in half. In other words, the fourth circle must go through this region. If it doesn't, then everyone in this region is forced to not like donuts, and there won't be a region that represents people who like all four foods. Of course, the same holds true for all eight regions, not just the one in the middle. Okay, so now we know that the fourth circle needs to split all eight regions in half. It needs to go through all eight regions. As we move the circle around, we can kind of tell that this isn't possible, there are just too many regions, but we'd like to prove this rigorously. So here we go. First, back up a bit. Notice that if you have one circle, then you add another circle to it, there can only ever be two intersection points. The maximum is two, and you're never getting any more than that. This is important, so really get this into your head. Now, if you have three circles, then you add in a fourth. The maximum number of new intersection points is six, because there are three circles and each of them have two intersection points. You can see this more clearly if you focus on each circle individually. So now we know, six is the max. But how does that help us? We're trying to split eight regions in half, not eight points. But how do you split the regions? Using circular arcs. Meaning, if you have eight regions, you need eight arcs to split them all in half. But, if you go back to the intersection points, you'll notice that six points divide the circle into only six arcs, no more. Meaning we can only split six regions in half, not eight. Okay, that was a pretty long proof, but now we know that four-way Venn diagrams aren't possible for circles. You need 16 regions to represent 16 combinations, and 16 regions isn't possible. This is because three-way Venn diagrams have eight regions, and adding a fourth circle can't split all eight regions into 16. It can only split six of the regions, leading to a maximum of 14 regions in the four-way Venn diagram. Not enough. So then, what's different about ellipses or triangles? It's the intersection points. Ellipses can intersect with themselves up to four times, and triangles six times. This property is what decides how Venn diagrammable a shape is. The more intersection points it can form with itself, the more likely it'll be able to form higher order Venn diagrams. How do you know the amount of intersection points that can form? Well, a key indicator is how symmetric a shape is. In general, the less symmetric something is, the more intersections it'll have with itself. I think. This is completely my intuition, so don't quote me on it. And what's the most symmetric shape? A circle. As you previously saw, a circle has maximum two intersections with itself, which directly causes it to be bad at making Venn diagrams. 8 plus 3 times 2 is only 14. But for ellipses, 4 intersections, 8 plus 3 times 4 is 20, which clears the 4-way requirement. Ellipses can also just barely form 5-way, because 16 plus 4 times 4 is 32. But 6-way is impossible. 32 plus 5 times 4 is not even close to 64. Now let's look at triangles. If we do some math, we also get that the limit is 5-way. But is it really? I haven't been able to find a 5-way Venn diagram. Now let's look at squares. You can get up to a 6-way Venn diagram, but this seems kind of ridiculous. 
could it be possible that there's another requirement other than self-intersection points? We know for a fact that a 7-way Venn diagram isn't possible for rectangles, but that doesn't necessarily mean 6-way is possible. Maybe there's another limiting condition for Venn diagrams that we don't know about, that forces Venn diagrams to be simpler than predicted by our current model. I present to you the regular polygon test. Okay, I don't know what it's actually called. I remember reading an article about what I'm now calling the regular polygon test, but that was a while back and now I can't find the article. The previous 4 minutes of this video, half of that also came from the article and now I just don't have a source for anything that I'm talking about. The reason I never mentioned this until now was because there was no need to, it was a proof with no source needed. But if I'm being honest, I have absolutely no clue how the regular polygon test works. It kind of makes sense, but I just cannot see the connection. Okay, I should probably explain it. Let's go all the way back to circles again. We want a 3-way Venn diagram. Is that possible with circles? Well, let's answer that with the regular polygon test. We want 3-way, so take the corresponding regular polygon and equilateral triangle. Now we will take a circle and try to contain every possible combination of the points with the circle. Here's what I mean. If I say, I want points A and B in the circle, but not C, I can make it happen. And every other combination works as well. Therefore, by the regular polygon test, the three-way Venn diagram is possible using circles. Now, four-way. The corresponding regular polygon is a square. Now, if I say, I want points A and B in the circle, but not C or D, I can make that happen. But, if I want A and C in the circle, but not B or D, this is impossible. Try messing around with this yourself to see why. But yeah, it's impossible. Therefore, a four-way Venn diagram is not possible using circles. Now let's try ellipses. If I want A and C in the ellipse, but not B or D, I can make that happen. And I can make it happen for any other combination of points as well. Therefore, a four-way Venn diagram is possible using ellipses. How about five-way? Every possible combination of points also works for a regular pentagon. How about six-way? If I select points A, C, and E to be in the ellipse, but not the other three, this becomes impossible. So the limit is 5-way, just like the intersection points method predicted. Do you see what I mean now when I was yelling earlier? I feel like there's a really clever proof for why the regular polygon test works, but I just can't find it. The connection is so close, but I just can't find it. Oh, and that's not even the end of it. Go back to the 4-way Venn diagram using circles. You know how this combination of points doesn't work? There's one more that doesn't work, if I want B and D to be in the circle but not A or C. So, there are two combinations that don't work, and 14 that do. Guess what? There is a maximum of 14 regions in a 4-way Venn diagram. There's something going on here. Oh, one more thing. I tested the regular polygon test a bunch to make sure I didn't misremember it or something like that. And it worked for everything except square Venn diagrams. Say I want to make a 4-way square Venn diagram. By the intersection point test, this is possible. And it does turn out to be possible. This is a valid 4-way square Venn diagram. But the regular polygon test says it's not possible for some reason. Just like with the circles, I cannot make a square that contains points A and C, but not B or D. Or can I? I'm pretty sure you can't, but I haven't proved it. So the regular polygon test fails for this one specific shape. Is it because the square is the same shape as the four points? Does the regular polygon test only fail on regular polygons? I have no idea, but when I figure it out, I will update you. I know, I did say that for the Nets problem a month ago and I still haven't updated you even though I finished the problem, but this time it'll be different, trust me. I will make a follow-up video this time. Alright, that's all I have for you today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.